Welcome back. This is lesson 11 of Machine Learning Zoom Camp Session 8. And in this lesson, we will train a larger model. So far, all the experiments we did, we did them on a smaller model. And the reason for that is smaller model trains four times faster. So we wanted to iterate quicker and then experiment with different parameters. But now it's time we train a larger model. So let me take the code we have here for training a model. Oh, this one, yes. And yeah, perhaps I will just have another parameter here, input size, which will be, let's say the default one will be 150. And then I'll just replace this 150 here and here, as well as here and here. Don't think we need to change anything else here. Yes, let's go with that. And now let me copy this code here. So I will leave it like that, 50 epochs. Yes, I still want to use a bit of um, augmentation. Yeah, let's not use it because I mean, we saw that uh, for smaller models, it doesn't really help. So I will not use it here. Of course, we should experiment with that as well. And actually in the book, I did train the final model with uh, augmentations. Okay, and yeah, we have that. Um, we shouldn't forget about uh, checkpointing. So let me find code for checkpointing. Because actually I want to make sure we save it. So we'll use this model in, in the next lesson. So this is, uh, I'll call it version four. So the first version of the model was just transfer learning with one uh, dense layer. The second one was with inner dense layer. Then we added dropout. That was version three. And version four would be the model we have from version three, just bigger. The parameter we have here is input size uh, 299. And let's run it. So I'll stop it now and actually add augmentation I wanted to have. So the augmentations I wanted to have are so here, then zoom range and horizontal flip. So these were, so one thing I forgot to change was this. So maybe that's why the accuracy wasn't that good. So I need to change this to, let me take this thing and put it here. So we were loading a smaller image and then putting it to big neural network. So let me now run it. And so actually, just for the sake of experiment, let me remove Augmentations. So first of all, we see immediately after the first iteration, after the first epoch, we have 84, like almost 85% accuracy. Then the other thing is we see how much each step takes. So for 150 by 150, one iteration was 150 milliseconds or 161 millisecond, but for 299 by 299 it is uh, 707 millisecond if i divide one by another well let's take actually because the, the second iteration is faster if i take 630 and divide it by 100 yeah you see it's actually four times slower indeed you see that the accuracy here is improving wait what i also forgot is uh, let me stop it right now i forgot one important thing is actually adding a checkpoint Checkpoint. Without that, we will not be able to save the, the best model. So. so let me just leave it running. It seems it got quite a good accuracy, like 90, 89%. But what I don't like is that the accuracy on training is quite like it's growing up, while accuracy on validation is not really improving and it's just jumping. So this particular step got lucky. But what I want to do now is I want to add a bit of augmentation to prevent accuracy on training grow that fast. 
and to reduce the, the risk for overfitting. So let me put this back. I'll call this V41 learning rate. This thing is quite jumpy. It just jumps a lot. Maybe a smaller learning rate would be better. So let me try to make it a bit smaller and then just we will spend more time training the model. Yeah, let me do that. Hmm. It's been training for a while. I see that there are some good results. So for example, this one, 90 percent accuracy and validation and 92 percent on training. I am much more confident in this result because there is no large discrepancy between the two. Um, we also have okay so reasonably good result here. Yes so this one is an 89. Yeah so we have like 88 here which is quite good and yeah interestingly on validation the accuracy is even better than on training and this is because we have this uh, augmentation right so the the model doesn't see the same image every time so it sees every time it sees a slightly different variation of the same image that's why we can also see that it's not growing as fast so it still kind of reaches 95 percent accuracy but it's not as fast so I'm, I'm going to stop it now i don't think it makes sense to keep training let me actually see what kind of checkpoints we saved. So I'm much more confident in this model than in this one, because of this one, I think it's overfitting. This one is better because the, the discrepancy between training and validation is not that large. So we have the model here, so it's actually safe to stop. So let me just stop it. So yeah, because I don't want to wait till it uh, finishes all these iterations. And uh, in my experiments that I did before, 80% was the best I could squeeze uh, from the neural network, even though actually I used 0.001 learning rate. Okay, so we trained the model. We have this model here now. And what we will do in the next lesson, next video, we will take this model and we will see how we can apply it to images. And we will also test it on our test data set. So see you soon.